queen. What do you want to be, Isaac? When you grow up, what do you want? YouTuber. I love your bit butts. We just dropped Isaac off. Um, here comes the morning drop-offs. It is a little more tricky um, with Ayla. She kind of like tantrums about waking up and getting her to brush her teeth and getting her to go to the toilet and get changed. All can be solved by waking up a little earlier. It's been a good morning. Where are we going, Ayla? The shopping. <laughs> Yay! That's the only thing that gets her out of the house. Her motivation is we're going shopping. I've been like quite pale lately, I've noticed. I don't know why. Look at the Halloween stuff. It's a awesome. skeleton. How awesome do these look? I was thinking this year I'll go, not all out, but I'll kind of go out for Halloween. Oh, these are so pretty. 350 though. She is looking after, um, what's her name again? Is it Eliana? Eliana. <laughs> oh. Rainy. Mm -hmm. It's another rainy, dull morning. Autumn, are you for it? Are you against it? And for actually a lot, you know, the burr months like September, October, November, December can be very depressing. But like, I like autumn. I feel like it's like a nice transition into winter because obviously it can get really cold and wet. But like autumn, it's like a it eases you into it and then like the leaves turning red and orange like, that's pretty so even though i don't like it being cold i do like christmas so again christmas makes winter a little bit more bearable i love seasons like seasons gives you something to look forward to winter vibes i haven't changed into my jeans yet but Sweater I got from Shein. I'm scared of Shein because like you hear such like mixed things about it. It took me years to actually place an order. Ah, oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> I haven't received red roses for a while. <laughs> Here comes the school germs because um, he's actually coughing today. So I kept him off school. It's really hard to know like what the regulations are, especially with COVID, but um, as long as he doesn't have loss of smell, as long as he doesn't have a fever, um, and as long as it's not a continuous cough where he's coughing for most of that hour, um, he's supposedly fine. I kept him off school anyways, just so he can like rest up. I want to share a little analogy a subscriber shared with me um, not long ago. Um, I was having like a bit of a low day. Uh, last vlog, I, I I shared that like, oh, you know, I was having like a bit of a cloud and then you know I got over it and I was fine but she shared this beautiful rose analogy her analogy is a rose is perfectly beautiful in its own way but there comes a time where you have to cut the rose in order for a new rose bud to form for a new rose to bloom so sometimes like perhaps you're mourning your old life or you're mourning the old you, but trust that in cutting it, a new you will blossom. Thank you, Isla. I will never forget that analogy. I think of my lavender outside my garden. In order for fresh lavenders to grow, I need to trim them frequently. If you don't trim them, all you'll have is just a bunch of dead lavenders. Lavenders. It has been about three weeks since my operation, so I'll show you guys a quick update. Although I still have my plaster on right now, so hopefully uh, soon you guys will see what it looks like without the plaster. So the majority of my swelling has pretty much gone down. I don't know if you can, but like for me, it's all around here now. I was quite swollen all the time, and I really just felt the swelling go down and down and down. So right now it's mostly in my love handle area. So yeah, I would feel like, I feel like my left side is more swollen than my right. The whole scar thing, it doesn't really bother me that much, but I'm happy with how things are healing. Looking forward to being able to work out soon. 
I need to this book. I've yet to read it, but um, it was recommended by a subscriber, and uh, it's called uh, Transitions, Making Sense of Life's Changes. I'm very excited to read this, actually. I'm gonna have a chill out day. I'm gonna make myself a little lunch. As long as you're living, like, nothing stays the same forever, and you cannot grow without change. You know, change can be very uncomfortable, but if we focus on what we gain instead of what we lose, um, we'll realize that the only way to grow is by change, even if it's not comfortable. Anyways, this is the flower arrangement that I attempted. What do you think? Isaac is back at school, so I wanna... I'm just gonna show you guys my pantry. <gasps> Got any snacks? Are you enjoying your marshmallow? So Isaac's at school, so it's just us. So she's running errands with me, but first, breakfast. Mm, this toasty is so good. <laughs> but not as good as your baby Gino. You're so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Is Coco beautiful? Coco's not. Coco's handsome. Aww. everyone. It is the weekend and Oh, so nice. I think with Isaac being back at school, it just makes me cherish the mornings. We can take our time getting up. Go cool. Isaac, a star of the week. He only started school. I'm so proud of him. Amo is coming nine. Chuppy is coming ten. So, you know, their their breath is starting to smell. <laughs> so I've been adding this uh, fresh breath dental water. <gasps> Hi! <laughs> I've been adding this to their water. Um, it's supposed to help fight bad breath. Help fight plaque and tartar, gum disease, to floss. Good afternoon, everyone. We are off on a little day. I'm going to take them to feed the ducks, play the play grind, grab some ice cream, um, and a toy shop because Isaac aced his very first test, so he gets to have a small gift. I feel like since Isaac's gone back to school, I definitely cherish uh, the weekend more. It's going to be Isaac, Ayla, and Mommy. Stay off. Up. We just drove past the castle and Ayla was like, when I grow up, I want to live in a castle. Um, are you sure about that, Ayla? Why do you want to live in a castle? Oh, but you are a princess. You're a queen. What do you want to be, Isaac? When you grow up, what do you want? YouTuber. YouTuber. You want to be a YouTuber? Yeah. Yes. Why? Why do you want to be a YouTuber? I want to be a princess. One wants to be a princess, one wants to be a YouTuber. Well, go for it guys, whatever makes you happy. We are going to go feed the ducks. Um, every time I come, I bring like grains of uncooked rice, but I made rice the other day and I had some leftover, so I just figured it might be better for them to get them cooked rice. It might be tastier. We're out of the tunnel. Up this little hill. <laughs> Careful you don't fall in the water, okay? I remember there was a time when he would not let go of my hand. <laughs> so many! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> so many! <gasps> Low key freaked out. No bulls here. Whoa! Whoa! <sighs> After the play grind, I took him to a toy shop where, um, you know, because Isaac, he aced the test and he was starting the week, so I thought I'll reward him with like, something cheap, you know, like a five point, 10 point thing. They're into like these things called mushrooms where it's like a little plastic egg and inside you just get like some sort of like, small, like rubbery toy. But yeah, that's what they're into. Hey, it's raining outside, so good thing we were back. But yeah, we're just gonna have a little hot chocolate. She's quite cute. So we've got an arrow here. So I think the whole point is that they're kind of squishy. Yeah, they're building some sort of Lego house for their characters. Found PJ Robot. 
After pondering like what to make and flicking through my recipe book, I decided to just make mac and cheese. And uh, are shipped with their daddy. So, chill time for the next few days. I don't know why this triggers me more than it should.